So Greg, why don't you come right in and tell us, first of all, uh, I know we mentioned that your celebration was unmuted. So first of all, why don't you just unmute yourself as well so that you can join this conversation and be a part of this panel. How's your day going so far, Greg? Hi guys, how are y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, good, good, thanks. So Greg, uh, just on that goal, you know, our panelists have a lot of questions about that goal. First of all, Varun actually wanted to ask you about bubble life. Varun, why don't you take over? Yeah, like how has it been like in the dressing room, like who's the naughtiest person and how has it been like staying with your, you know, like family, it's like a newfound family right now. It's been like your bubble. So how is it like, who are your best friends? Any Hindi words you have learned in the bio bubble? Yes, it's been, um, it's been certainly a bit different. Um, but as you say, you, you become, you become a bit of a family um, because you see one, everyone 24 seven. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's been a we've got a great group, a group of lads here, um, and the coaching staff and the people behind the scenes, they can't do enough for you to help um, the people in the hotel as well. So it's it's been, as you say, it's it's like a family. It's become. Yeah, you know, Pulas, I actually have a bone to pick with Greg. Greg, you don't know this, but before the season started, when we were doing the Let's Football Live Twitter Space, uh, we had Peter Hartley join that Twitter Space. And you had actually commented saying it's a good way to, for people to go to sleep. If you remember that, I don't know if you remember that or not, uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'll have you yeah. know that that Twitter space went quite well and we love having your company. Don't we, Pulas? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He, big, right. Peter, big Peter has not changed. If you still chat with him, you still have to go to sleep. <laughs> Right. So, so Greg, I just, I just kind of briefly wanted to bring up the goal that you scored against Hyderabad FC. Now, uh, you know, you had a chance before that as well, but how important was this goal in the scheme of things for your team to, of course, take the lead? It went a long way in, uh, in Jamshedpur FC maintaining their unbeaten record, didn't it? Yeah, um, it was obviously, I was disappointed with the, the shot just before. Um, but with this one, um, I don't score many goals with my right foot, so it was nice to see it go in the back of the net. Um, it just, the ball just came to me from the throwing, and I didn't really know where to pass. There was no one really on for an easy pass, so yeah. I just had to to try and dribble dribble past three or four players. And luckily enough, I've managed to find space to get to get my shot away. And as I say, it's it's always nice when it finds a corner. Right. Greg, are you left-footed or right-footed? Because we certainly can't tell the way you played during that game. Um, I'm, I'm all left foot, to be honest. Ah, so, I mean, that makes sense because you had a run before that. Uh, before I talk about that run, what about that celebration, though? Why has everyone in the Jamshedpur FC squad just sworn to do the make celebration each time someone scores? Mm, I, I don't know, but it was just a bit, a bit of banter with, with um, Jordan Murray. Um, Jordan's Jordan's been out injured. Uh, he missed the last game for the injury, so I knew I knew he was in the stand, and we and we just said before if I, if I score, I'll, I'll come and celebrate with you. Um, so it was just it was just a bit of a bit of banter between me and Jordan. Yeah, nice to see the camaraderie in the whole squad as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do now, guys, Shaiju Chetan, uh, Varun, and Reg to just talk us through the process behind that goal. We'll just slow down the goal for you, Greg, and we want you to take over. Tell us what was going through your mind when the goal was being scored. And uh, like you mentioned, how about that right foot of yours? Yeah, as I say, when the ball just came came into my feet, I was looking for someone maybe to run across me, but but no one, no one was really there. So I just thought I just have to try and go on a solo run. Yeah. Uh, like enough. you are right now like you are right now going on a solo run yeah. from the right flank what about this? do you wish you'd scored this goal though I know it for a fact yeah I I, I was probably away celebrating to be honest <laughs> um, for it to hit the post and, and go where it went you don't you don't really see that a lot so yeah I was obviously afterwards I couldn't I couldn't believe it didn't go in yeah uh, Shaiju Chitran do you think, in your opinion, which would have been a better goal for Greg to score? Do you think this goal would have been a better one or the one that he actually scored? Uh, the first one which hits the pole uh, yeah. would have been the best one. But I have a question for you, Greg. Now, I have a question for you. Uh, the yeah, goal yeah. reminds that dribble reminds me uh, uh, some dancing steps, nice dancing steps inside the box that reminds us. 
so here in india we love dancing very much we have some well famous uh, traditional dance forms like the bharatnatyam the kathak the kuchipudi uh, my question to you have two parts uh, would you uh, you like dancing really would you like dancing and question number 2 if you want to learn the indian classical dance please we will the let football live can arrange a serious training sessions on indian <laughs> classical dance please greg i would, I, would uh, I absolutely love dancing but i would i would be lying if i told you i was good at it uh, <laughs> i'm a bit stiff unfortunately um but i do love a dance now and again but um yeah as i say i'm i'm not very good at it you know greg we keep hearing pulas say that through the week you know just feeling a little stiff guys you know it's my hamstrings a little stiff you know so you're not you're not the only one in that uh, in that board pulas is isn't that true yeah yeah All, you know what greg uh, before uh, when you were left out of that first starting 11 and i i think i met uh, owen coyle for an interview and i told him how could you not have played uh, greg stewart in the first game and and coyle was like um, oh you know it's very easy to sit there and not uh, and pick the team and then when i saw you in the in the next game i was like yes now now he's going to now i'm going to just next time i meet over i'm going to be like see i told you just tell the gaffer and really got to get under his skin not a good idea but you know greg i have a, i have a story of course a lot of questions about india but slightly different going back to your time in scotland then one of the one of the most uh, revered players in india is obviously steven gerard do you have any gerard anecdotes any stories from your time under him that that you like to tell people the woody score screamers in training how was it um yeah i've i can i can remember i can remember one story it, it was about i had we um i had just signed and after two weeks pre-season we we went to portugal on a training camp um and and we played at the end of training we play a, a round robin so that's four teams and then you just play each other to see who, see who wins who has the most points and I remember one of the players got injured and he and he went on one of the other teams and I can always remember when the ball just came just came to him and it sat up on the bounce and he just half half volleyed this this ball right into the top corner wow. and it was just unbelievable they all, they they always say you lose your legs but you never lose your lose your touch and and that was just a touch of quality I actually wow. thought he could he could probably still play for us now. <laughs> <laughs> is 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 Owen Coyle doing stuff like that in training as well? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, uh, the gaff the gaffer here he, he likes to get involved with the with the shooting and and uh, little rondos. He likes to get involved. To be fair, which is which is good. It's great for the morale for for everyone. That's fantastic. Yeah. Talk, talking about morale in the camp, Varun, we were a little curious to know about what kind of characters there are in the Jamshedpur FC camp, weren't we? Exactly, exactly right. I really love the celebration. First of all, like everyone jumped on you. Yes, it was a special goal for you. But yes, again, like a uh, question, like who's the naughtiest and who's like the one who's always focused before a game, like when Jamshedpur FC starts. You looked at someone over there, Greg. You looked at someone over there. <laughs> I think he's because, the naughtiest only. Because Jao was looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I would Greg. say I would say there's there's a couple of boys that like to to have a carry on. There's there's not much to do, so you have to keep yourself busy. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so when it course. when it becomes dark at night, um, there's some mischievous boys that kick about <laughs> and go up to a couple. Of you know, I mean, we 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 need names over here, Greg. That's how we all <laughs> we, we need names. Putting but... it on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to stitch anyone up, so you know. All right, all right. It, I need to keep it like this for now. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll keep it we'll keep it sanitized like you said we'll keep it sanitized uh but yeah shaiju chetan you had you had another question for greg why this number 24 are you planning to score 24 goals in the first season itself well it's not my target i've got a little bit less than that but if you want to give me 24 i would, I would, I would take that just now yeah <laughs> um yeah. but look it's it's um it's all about it's all about just try to win as many games as possible and we're, we're still undefeated so far and look we just need to try and keep that momentum going uh, we've got a, a really tough week week or two coming up so we know we need to keep um, recover well and, and go again because the games come thick and fast and Greg do you think that your experience of winning the league with uh, Rangers back home in Scotland will serve you well with Jamshedpur FC because you had a fantastic time with them. So talk us through uh, that a bit and how your experience would help Jamshedpur FC in the future. 
Yeah, uh, you learn you learn a lot from obviously um, Stephen Stephen Gerrard and, and the coaching staff were there. They were they were an elite club before they came to Rangers. You know his his career speaks for itself. So when you learn when you learn of people like that that have played played at elite level in the game, you learn little little things that you you didn't realise at, at the time, and then you play with top players as well, and then you get that. You get that winning mentality where you just every week you just want to go and get three points. It doesn't it doesn't matter how you get it. You can play bad, but you get three points, and that's all that mattered when you were at Rangers. So yeah, if if I can try and help that help um, get that into some of the boys here, then hopefully we can have a successful season because we have a we have a good team, and it's not just individuals. We we all we all stick together. Yeah, you know, Greg, you can really see that when you when you see Jamshed Parasi playing on the pitch, there's a real sense of camaraderie, like I mentioned before. And long may that continue. So thank you so much for joining us on the Let's Football Live show. We loved having you. And I speak on behalf of everyone, the whole crew, Polast, Varun, and uh, Shaiju Chetan. Chetan, by the way, Chetan, we call him Shaiju Chetan because he's his big brother. So, <laughs> you know, that's that's what we that's what we refer to him as. Uh, but yes, Greg, thank you so much for joining us. All the best for the rest of the season. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Cheers, great. Thanks.